Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the valid parenthesis problem. Given a string containing just the characters, left parenthesis, right parenthesis, left curly brace, right curly brace, left square bracket, and right square bracket, determine if the input string is valid. An input string is valid if, one, open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets, two, open brackets must be closed in the correct order. Note that an empty string is also considered valid. For example, here the method returns true because, as you can see, the opening parenthesis is matched with a corresponding closing parenthesis. In example 2, this is also valid, so the method returns true because every opening bracket has a corresponding closing bracket in the correct order. In this case, this is false, the method returns false because there's an opening parenthesis but the closing symbol is not a closing parenthesis so this is not valid. Here this is also not valid and this one is valid. So how can we solve this problem? As you can see we can solve this problem using a stack because the stack has the LIFO property last in first out so if we go from left to right whenever we see an opening symbol we can push that symbol to the stack and then whenever we see a closing symbol we have to compare that closing symbol with the top of the stack because the closing symbol has to be the corresponding closing symbol for the most recent opening symbol that you saw. So for example here, when you get here to the to this right parenthesis, this closing symbol, you compare with the most recent opening symbol, which is a an opening parenthesis, because they are the corresponding symbols, then this is okay. And you continue here. So you push the left square bracket, the opening square bracket to the stack. And when you get to the closing square bracket, you compare with the most recent opening symbol. And because the most recent opening symbol was the corresponding opening square bracket, it's okay. And you continue doing that. So in if you are iterating from left to right and you find a, a closing symbol, but the stack is empty, what does that mean? It means that you didn't find an opening symbol, so this is not valid. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I need a stack of character stack gets a value of new stack of character. Then I'm going to go through the string from left to right for char c go through s that to char array then if it is an opening symbol I want to push that symbol to a stack if c equals equals opening parenthesis or c equals equals opening square bracket or c equals equals opening curly brace I just want to push that to the stack. Stack that push C. Else, if it is not an opening symbol, then it has to be a closing symbol. So I want to make sure that if I see a closing symbol, I want to make sure that I have an opening symbol to compare with. So if the stack is empty, that means that I don't have an opening symbol to compare with, so this is not valid. So if stack that is empty, then I can immediately terminate by returning false. This is not a valid string. Otherwise, if the closing symbol is a closing parenthesis and the top of the stack and at the same time I'm popping the element is not equal to an opening parenthesis that means that they are not the same type so if I see a closing parenthesis but the, the most recent opening symbol that I saw was not an opening parenthesis 
they don't match, they're not the right type of symbols, so I return false. Now I do the same for every other closing symbol. If I see closing square bracket and the top of the stack is not equal to opening square bracket, they don't match, so I return false. And if I see that the that this symbol is a closing curly brace and the top of the stack and I'm popping at the same time as I'm comparing is not equal to opening curly brace then the corresponding closing symbol does not match the most recent opening symbol so I know that they're not balanced I know that they are not valid so I return false then by the end of the iteration there's one more condition that we have to check and the condition is that we saw more opening symbols than closing symbols. In that case, if we saw more opening symbols than closing symbols, that means that the stack is not empty because we did not pop all the opening symbols from the stack because we didn't find matching closing symbols. So in that case, we return false. So we can say return stack that is empty. So if the stack is empty, this is gonna be true that means that we were able to find closing symbols for all the opening symbols and they all matched. But if the stack is not empty, this is gonna return false because there were more opening symbols than closing symbols. So now I'm gonna run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm gonna submit a solution. All right, this is working perfectly. One millisecond faster than 98.69% of Java submissions for valid parentheses. The time complexity is big O of n, where n is the length of the string. The space complexity is also big O of n. If you liked the video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.